Hi everybody, it's Dr Biology here and this is GCSE Biology Foundation Tier and my predictions for 2023. So before I get started, um, I'm going to give you a bit of advice, but please do hold on near to the end because um, there is some really good advice. Um, but there is there are no shortcuts, I'm afraid. Um, whilst you might see other um, sites, other people wanting you to subscribe to things and purchase things, there is no shortcut. There are things you can do, though, that will help you. But the key thing is you have to revise everything. You have to revise everything. Revise everything. And lastly, yeah, you guessed it, revise everything. However, do not switch off. I have some really good advice. So in docbiology.uk, you can find revision checklists. You can find past papers and also topic-based um, exam questions and answers. You need to learn the keywords, definitely learn the keywords. And what I'm showing you here, and I'll make myself a bit smaller, this is uh, last year's paper. So last year, students had advanced material. So advanced material told them what was going to be in the exam. This year, you're not going to get any advanced material. But what's really important, I think, to state is the topics that were not assessed last year. So for paper one, they didn't do anything on stem cells. They didn't do anything on blood or cancer or protist diseases or anything to do with respiration. So the whole section of respiration was not covered. So that was paper one. Paper two, they did nothing on the brain, the eye, the kidneys and ADH. They did nothing on advantages and disadvantages of sexual and asexual reproduction, DNA, variation, evolution, theories of evolution, speciation, understanding of genetics. Um, they did nothing in ecology related to uh, decomposition, biodiversity, land use deforestation, global warming, trophic levels, and pyramids of biomass. So to summarize, these things were not examined last year. Now, as I said to you, you can, AQA, the exam board, can they can give you questions on stuff that was last year, stuff that was previous years. Um, but I'm just letting you know that probably these topics are quite useful for you to know because uh, they weren't, didn't come up at all last year. And particularly the required practicals. So you'll notice the two required practicals in paper one and in paper two, the required practical in decay. So doctorbiology.uk has all the GCS, GCSE biology playlists for doctor biology. It's really good. Uh, it highlights which is foundation and which is higher tier. Um, also, please do take account of revision tips. So things like using flashcards are really important, using mind maps. Revise actively. So read it, cover it, recite it, check it. OK, and once you've completed it, you need to repeat it. Um, you need to space out your learning. So don't just say, right, I'm going to revise for four hours. Um, maybe revise for 20 minutes, take a five minute break. Use chunking. So don't just revise a whole topic in one. Try and intersperse it with different things. So going back to paper one and paper two, the checklists might be useful for that. Practice past papers. Always the same types of questions come up year after year. And a good way is to have a study buddy. So teach somebody else. So good luck. Uh, to all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and good luck in your real exams and I will see you soon.